Relations Technical Committee has begun a capacity building training for all county secretaries in 47 counties with the aim of valuing and recording assets in both the national and county governments ahead of expected transitions. The committee is, however, expressing concern over public assets that are now said to be in private hands. With 22 county governors already serving their second term and President Uhuru Kenyatta expected to hand the reign of power to the fifth president, the Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee has started the evaluation and record keeping of assets to safeguard them from loss or misuse. IGRTC Acting Chairperson John Burugo has however expressed concern of a possible collusion of government officials and private individuals to fleece government of its assets. We have uh, flagged them up for follow-up so that we establish uh, from the RAND registry, RAND records, who really owned, how did they transfer from uh, the public into an individual. The committee has organized a capacity building training for all county secretaries so as to ensure the protection of the assets and a smooth transition to the incoming regimes in the counties. The transition is so important that for the country, not only for intergovernmental relations technical committee, but importantly so because of record management. We are also involved in the closure of public records, but in, in the case of transitions, how best are we handling the records? IGRTC is also facilitating the valuation of assets belonging to the Nairobi County Government and now under the Nairobi Metropolitan Services ahead of expiry of the deed of transfer expected in August. Any governor who's going to be elected for Nairobi expects to assume all of uh, all powers the functions powers authority of the office of governor and that necessitates the intergovernmental relations technical committee under an interagency platform read by the ministry of devolution and the attorney general to to retransfer those functions john jacob curie